Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can connect a Squarespace domain to Google Workspace in 2024. So I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of how to do so. Of course, this will allow you to use Google suits of productivity tools with your custom domain. So make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience so first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using like brave browser of course for you you can use whatever suits you of course once you open a browser for me you can go to this url section and basically first of all you can go and open your square like space website so go and type squarespace.com hit the enter button and this example you can even open a new tab and simply go and sign into your google as an example so google work space hit the enter button click on this first link and make sure of course to log in into that so i don't know why the language is french so i'll just here try to change it into english where it's like english so it should be okay here like the the country is not uh the not like the thing so i'll just choose united states and okay so not from here yeah here is it it should be right here so i'll just choose like english yeah so make sure here to go and log in into your account if you have an account uh, and if you don't have an account you'll need to go and create one the same will be for squarespace for me as you can see on squarespace on already logged into your account into my account if it's your first time basically on squarespace so you'll find yourself with the sign in option or login option here click on it to log in into your account if you have an account if you don't click on create an account at the top right corner you can use google if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account for google workspace you'll need just a google account so if you click on get started as an example you can simply just go and create one right now as an example so here just go and click on that so I'll just fill up here some random information as an example here so let me just go and type like a random name first name random last name as example and my current like email so as simple as that all i need to do simply is to do that example then click on next so with a gmail address or with the company address i'll just choose with a gmail address why not and of course you can start your 14 days free trial without any charge as example you basically have to connect your uh, card and you should be good to go so here you'll have to enter your security code click on verify it will not be accepted now because this card is no use uh, is not working anymore uh, even if i get like the security code so i'll not be able even to use this as an example i don't even remember the security code of it so once you do so you will have access of course to your google workspace so now, as we said, we would like to connect that Squarespace domain to Google Workspace. So first of all, we can go or we should go to our Squarespace uh, account, go to dashboard or basically go to domains right away. But it's fine. We are in the dashboard. So here, go and click on domains. As you can see for me, at the moment, I have no domains. But to get the domain, first of all, just go and click on get the domain and this should take us here so here enter the domain that you want to get for me as an example i'll just type like uh, omex like maybe tester.com and yeah as you can see there's a domain here with just 12 dollars per year but this discount you'll get it just for the first year if you want to renew it it will be 20 like dollars so just keep that in mind so as an example let's say when i get this so i'll just go here you can add like another one like .net.org with it what's for me i'll just i just want uh, just that so i'll just go here and click on continue to check out so once you are here as you can see registration terms so ensure the domain ownership and look in the current price for the number of years selected by choosing multi-year ter term so if you choose one year, you'll have to pay twenty uh, twelve dollars. If you choose more, you'll have to pay like plus twenty dollars per every other year, even if you choose ten years. You'll not get another discount other than this eight dollar discount. 
So once you're done, click on save and continue, fill up all the other informations like registrations, address, payment, and pay for it, then you will have your domain. Once you pay it, uh, you can go back here, refresh, and you'll find your domain right here. You'll be able to manage it and do whatever you want with it. So now you can simply go back to your Google workspace. Uh, like here, of course, you would like to have an uh, account, first of all. And let me just try to see if I already like have it working. So let me just try to get even the code first of all, like and see if it's still like working or not. My Google Workspace is still working. So I'll just go here and try to connect with my accounts. Yeah, this is normally the accounts. And let me just go and choose that in here. So sign with the administrator account. It seems like it's not working for some reason. With Google, uh, like admin, use an administrator account for uh, manage Google service such as Google Workspace or Cloud Identity. So when I click in here, it just load. It does not get me in. I don't know why. But basically for you, you'll have to go and get into your admin console. Once you go into admin console, of course, you will find like a domains option just go and click on domains then go to add slash uh, remove domains click on add the domain or a domain alias and enter the domain uh, or enter your squarespace domain which is like the one that we talked about which is omics tester for me for you of course you, it could be whatever you want and simply then click on add the domain Google Workspace will provide you with DNS records that you will need to add to your Squarespace domain DNS. You can go back here uh, to your domains, click on manage that, and you'll be able to add those DNS settings right there. Once you add your DNS settings, uh, of course, you can go back to your admin console, click on verify domain, and Google will check the presence of these DNS records to confirm domain ownership. Then you'll be able to set up your email account, adjust MX records if necessary. This is the email setup if you want, and that should be it. So that's going to be it for me today. You'll be able to start testing your email setup however you want. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.